So Universal Studios Hollywood had their first Horror Nights tonight. A little disappointed there were some very long lines, like even to get into the park it took almost 30 minutes. It was just going very slowly, just wasn't moving at all. And I got there at, like before 7, before the park even opened, it still took like 30 minutes. But to get to um, Walking Dead and Black Sabbath, you had to take a tram over there, quick tram. It wasn't a terror tram, but it was a smaller tram. It was kind of weird. Because you'd have to take it back to, so you went in the back lot just for these two mazes, which were both like the most crowded mazes there. Both of them were over 100 minutes long. Especially Walking Dead. Like, Walking Dead wasn't, it actually wasn't that great of a maze. It just, it took so long to get through it. See? And I'm going to do ratings on these to review them. And I would, Gotta say, Walking Dead. I would say uh, a one out of five rating for scary would be like no, it was probably like a three. It wasn't really that scary, but for fun though, uh, like one one out of five rating for fun. I would say probably like a two. It just wasn't wasn't that great. I, I just didn't think it was scary or fun at all. It just really I don't know. I can't find the right word to say. Just weird just wasn't scary. Well, I guess it's weird because I don't even watch The Walking Dead. Yeah, maybe if you watch The Walking Dead it would make more sense, but it didn't make any sense to me, so I just walked right through it like it was any old maze, like Six Flags or something. I was gonna say Jurassic Park in the dark. That wasn't that great either. Just, it was just exactly the same, no difference. I think they added like some extra music on the on the ride. That's just about it. The Evil Dead Maze, that was not that great either. It was like a two for scary and a um I would go a three for fun. It was it was okay. Terra Tram was probably like a two for scary and a four or five for I would go four for fun. That one was actually kind of fun because you have to walk all the way back. Well, I guess walking uphill wasn't the best part, but it was still kind of fun because it made it seem... It just made it seem better for some reason. To get kicked off of the tram and then not knowing where you're really supposed to go. I don't know, there's just something about that. But I'd say Terra Tram was pretty fun. I would say it's a must-do. The line was only like 30 minutes. I mean, luckily I got to skip it, but... Uh, it said, like, the ones on the upper level really weren't that crowded. Like, Monster Remix was only 10 minutes long. And it was that was the best maze. That one was, like, a 5 for fun and, like, a 4 or 5 for scary. That one was actually scarier than all the rest. I got scared on every corner. And it was very fun. So I'd go, I would say that one was the best. It was a 10 out of 10. All the ratings combined, that's 10 out of 10. For Monsters Remix. And then for for like the scare zones, they have the purge. That's the one where you, that's where you first walk into the park. That one was very weird. They had way too many chainsaws out there. It just got annoying after a while. At first it was kinda like it was a little bit scary and then it was a little bit fun because some of the guys would like run into the gift shops and scare people. But after a while there's just way too many chainsaws and they kept trying to scare you at like midnight and then by that time, you're just like, that doesn't even scare. Just, uh, it was, what, it wasn't even scary. Just so tired then, just I didn't even care. They added way too many chainsaws, and they also have, like, people with knives walking around. It's just, they have way too many of those. Just, like, way, just way too many of them. So that one was probably scary. That would be, like, a three. For fun, it was, like, a one. <laughs> Then they had Chucky's Curse, which was the other scare zone. That one was not scary at all. That was like a one for scary. And like a two for fun. The clown, they had a clown maze though. Or not a maze, a scare zone. That one was okay. That one was um, Cirque du Clowns. That one was very fun. That was like a five for fun. And for scary, it was like a two. But they were really fun. They would like follow you around, and it was kind of—it was like really fun. 
El Kakui though, that maze, oh, that was, that wasn't scary at all. That was, uh, that was just like a two for scary. There was one cool part where they show a bed and there's like these hands just pop out of nowhere. That was kind of scary, but it was not like it was really scary. For fun though, it wasn't really that fun. And that, like in that maze, it wasn't that fun. Uh, what else did I do? Overall, though, I gotta say, it was just like Six Flags. It's very similar. It's maybe a little bit scarier than Six Flags. I guess I liked it a little bit better. It just wasn't great. It wasn't It wasn't actually scary at all. None of them were really scary except for Monster Remix, which had no lines, so that was actually really great. I mean, I didn't get to do Insidious because it was like 90 minutes and I couldn't use uh, a Front of the Line Pass if it was over 85 minutes because I was with um, someone who works at the park. You can get to the front of the line if, if it's under 85 minutes. But Insidious and Sabbath 3D was over 85 minutes, so we couldn't use those. So I didn't get to go on them, and I really didn't want to wait for buy in front of the line pass. It wasn't worth it. But it was still fun, though.